I'm Teresa welcome to my channel thank you for joining me here today today we're going to be doing some gel printing and we're going to be using a candle just a standard household candle if you haven't got one of those a wax crayon will do the job but I think most people will have a candle lying around in a drawer somewhere and we're going to be using it to create some resists and have some fun textured background prints like these that I've got on the table here so I'm going to clear them out of the way get all set up and I'll show you what to do as always I'll begin with a quick rundown of what we're using today don't need too many products today I'm using my six inch square gel plate this is my uh, gel press six inch gel printing plate I'm using that one just a small size uh, it suits the couple of stencils that I'm using um, so you know feel free to use whatever size plate that you want to that you feel comfortable using I've got a brayer this is my speedball brayer I'm using that one a few paints today I thought it was uh, it's been a while since I've used these Dina Wakely media acrylic paints I quite like the colors here we've got magenta peacock lime and marine so I'm using those I have a couple of stencils that I'm going to show an effect with and these are both by stencil girl so this one has the number s164 and this one s111 if you want to take a look not sure if they're still available or not but quite like them they're quite a bold um, design that's what i want nothing too intricate and other than that um we're going to be using a common household candle you could use a wax crayon if you've got a wax crayon i don't happen to have a wax crayon i'm sure i've got a, a pack of them somewhere um, but as always you know you come to look for something and can't find it but I, I figure most households will have a candle a wax candle the only difference between using this and a crayon is obviously this one it's clear um, so you can't see particularly where the where the wax is going down on your piece of paper unless you sort of hold it up to the light but it, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether it's it's coloured or not and it'll mean that uh, it'd be a bit of a surprise for you to see the print because obviously you won't be able to see the rubbing that I'm creating using this candle so I'm going to be showing you I'm just going to do a rubbing with a couple of these stencils here I've also gone around uh, the house earlier and taken another couple of rubbings onto some paper using my candle obviously as I said you're, you're not going to be able to see particularly the pattern that there is on this paper because the the wax is clear so it'll be a surprise when I come to do the print but it's just a little bit of food for thought of, of thinking outside the box of items that you might be able to use to create pattern and interest on a print other than that I've got paper and paper towel for cleaning up um, I have a couple of previous prints here these were from last week um, that's one here I actually cut a bit out of I might be using those to print on top of um, instead of just printing onto a piece of paper um, undecided yet but again it's it's one of those things you you can take older prints and then print a design onto them I have some paper here for printing on this is just some mixed media paper Faber Castell mixed media paper out of a pad just cut that to a square slightly larger than my plate so I'm going to begin by just showing you the techniques of taking a rubbing I'm sure you know I'm sure you've all done this before um, anything that has some sort of texture to it you can take the side of a crayon or a candle piece of paper and rub over and it will transfer that design onto your piece of paper and then we're going to use that layer of wax to resist the paint on the plate and create an interesting pattern so just taking the flat side of your candle or your crayon And applying an even pressure and I say I don't know whether the light will pick that up but I can see the light catching where the wax has sort of hit the high points of the stencil and transferred that pattern I'm going to take this other one as well 
do the same. So I can move the stencils out of the way, get my plate back in position. And we're going to begin by putting a layer of paint onto our plate. So for this, I'm going to use the peacock color. Sprayer that nice and evenly over the plate. And I'm going to take this rubbing that we've just done of our stencil and putting it so that the wax side is towards the plate. Pop it down on the plate and rub gently but firmly all over the surface. And when we lift it off, the wax that was on the paper has resisted the paint and left that design on our plate. So I'm just going to take off this little bit of paint along the edges. My piece of paper is not quite wide enough to pick that up. And I'm now going to pop contrasting colour over the top and I'm going to use the lime colour. Take a piece of my mixed media paper and pull the print. And there we've got a really nice image of the stencil design that we've got. So we're going to repeat this process and use the rubbing that we did of our other stencil. This time I'm going to begin with the marine. Again, we're going to take our rubbing, put it the wax side down. And rub gently but firmly all over. And once again, you can see where that wax has resisted the paint. And once again, I'm just going to take that little edge off where my paper doesn't quite reach. I'm going to use the magenta paint and pull a print. like so. So next up we've got my mystery rubbings, the household uh, ones that I've done that you won't know what they are in, until we actually pull the print. 
and this time I think I'm going to begin with the peacock colour paint I'm going to get my first piece of paper and place it down like that and this I took off my the brickwork on the outside of the house so here you can see the edges of the bricks with the line of mortar in, bet in between and thought it would make for an interesting texture I quite often like backgrounds that are quite abstract and subtle design because then that gives you options of what you can put on top of them so just using the magenta paint over the top And there we've got this sort of mottled effect where the brickwork is, the edges of the bricks. Really nice sort of background that we can go and work on with more designs afterwards. Next I'm going to take the marine paint. I'm going to take our mystery design And this I took off the wallpaper that we've got in the hallway. It's like a textured anaglypta type wallpaper. Not my favourite design in the world, but this um, I thought would make for a really interesting print and it looks like it is going to. I'm very happy with that. Take some of the lime colour. Take our piece of paper. And there's our print. If you're wondering whether or not we can reuse one of these, let's give it let's give it a whirl. So just clean off any of the paint that's left on the plate. Let's pop some of the magenta on. pop our design back down on the plate and that wax design is still resisting the paint there
and there we have another print and I think we could probably do three or four I mean your biggest problem with those will be if the paper starts to disintegrate but the wax is always going to keep resisting that paint and you should be able to take multiple prints of each of those so I've cleaned up put my plate away and I've just trimmed up my prints and get rid of the edges and we'll have a quick look at what we've got so first up with the ones that we did with the resist of the stencils you get this really nice bold outline design very happy with that could work in that with uh, some pens to add some highlights and details if you wanted to but just a nice all over background design then we had the rubbing of the brickwork this was very subtle you can make out the edges of the bricks here and the texture of the bricks but sometimes that's all that you want is a bit of a subtle layered background something that you could work on with a bolder design on top of it then we had our wallpaper um, the wallpaper rubbing and I like this I love this sort of vintagey effect that we've got here very nice that's worked out very well so you know if you can go down to the DIY store get some samples of textured wallpaper you know what you can use them for now then we did another print of that stencil rubbing just to prove you could get more than one print off each one and again it worked out really well here. I then went on to do another um, print of the brick texture, used a different section of that page and again you can see the edges of the bricks and I really do quite like that, just a nice sort of grungy background design. And finally I decided to have another go with the wallpaper and the first time I put um, a layer of green and then went over with the pink and then that didn't show up too well so I went back in again with the darker blue by which point I think at this the third attempt um, of using it it was starting to leave a little bit more paint on my plate but again the design is in there and it is a sort of grungy background I'm sure I could pop um, some white stenciling or something on there and make use of that in some project in the future but I hope this has given you a few ideas of what you can do, a different way of using your stencils, um, a different way of looking around at what you could take a rubbing of. If you know things like tree bark, um, textured stone and rock, uh, the different textured wallpapers, corrugated cardboard, there's lots of things that you could do a rubbing with. And I'm sure that most people in, have got a candle in the house or a wax crayon that they could use. Um, it's really good fun it's something that you could you know if you've got kids and you want to have fun with them get them looking for textures to do rubbings and then come and do some printing with them and sort of try and use them in different ways but as always I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon bye mm -hmm.